What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can already tell from the thumbnail, from the title, I have a cauldron crate box to unbox for you guys. As you guys know, if you've watched my previous unboxings of cauldron crate, I am a collaborator on this box with Leanne, who is the owner and curator of cauldron crate. I just help her come up with some of the ideas for these boxes. Right now, we are doing the Horcrux series. However, for now, this is going to be the last box um, from Cauldron Crate. Leanne has decided to take a break. I know she's in medical school, exams, all that stuff. I 1000% understand needing to take a break. So this will be the last box from Cauldron Crate for 2022. I do believe the plan, the dream, the hope is that she's coming back in 2023 with the rest of the Horcrux series. I also have a, another item that I got from Leanne. I do believe this item will be put in her shop. It goes along with one of the items in the chest. Now there are two options for Cauldron Crate. You can have the regular chest or you can have the premium chest. The premium chest does have a few more items included and I do have the premium chest. So we will be able to see all of the items that Leanne curated for the Hufflepuff cup chest. So guys, that's enough talking. Let's see the goods. Let's get into it. Excuse me, Kit Kat. And this is what we see right on top. Ooh, looks like we have our personalized item right off the bat. That is one thing I really do love about Cauldron Crate. Oh, the dust. The dust. There will always be a personalized item in the chest and a house themed item. So you will always get something to rep your house. So right on top, it looks like we have our personalized item. It says Tabby with a wax seal on the back that says the Bank of Gringotts. And this is what we see. It says, Dear Tabby, thank you for your interest in the position of Curse Breaker at the Bank of Gringotts, Diagon Alley, Diagon Alley, London. Please complete the application form, overleaf, and return it to the head goblin via Al at your earliest convenience. So we have something we could personalize. Prospective curse breakers must show a natural ability in the detection and disablement of a wide range of curses. In order to continue your application, please identify and remove the curse placed upon these bloodied playing cards kindly donated by Mr. Burke of Borgen and Burke. We will automatically be notified should you succeed. Best of luck. And then we have a signature assistant head goblin of Gringotts Bank. So this is what we have to fill out on the back. Sorry for the lighting. Job application, curse breaker, Gringotts Goblin Resource Department. We can add our name, our age, our address, our date of birth previous experience, and even our education, which I wish I could say Hogwarts. Sadly, my acceptance letter never came. Still waiting. But that was the first item in the chest, a nice interactive kind of thing that we can fill out and keep forever. Okay, guys, let's move the tissue paper. Right on top, we have a t-shirt. So again, guys, I was a collaborator on this box, so I know and have seen everything in this chest. And a fun behind the scenes thing is this was actually not going to be the design of the t-shirt, but Leanne felt like we needed more Hermione items because for the Horcrux series, we were basing every chest off the Horcrux and the person who destroyed it. So the Hufflepuff cup was obviously destroyed by Hermione. So we have a Hermione t-shirt. This is what it is. The brightest witch of her age. We see Hermione with her Otter Patronus in the background. And then down here, it looks like we have a book with the Hogwarts crest, some spells. So yes, this is the t-shirt. It definitely screams Harry Potter, which I know isn't for everyone. A lot of people kind of like an understated magical t-shirt. Now me personally, I do a, I do love a t-shirt that screams Harry Potter. Like a book from the restricted section. It can scream. So I actually really like this t-shirt and I feel like Hermione is such an underrepresented character. Like we really don't get a lot of Hermione based stuff. So, so yeah, I like this. And next we have our house themed item. And as usual, Leanne is so freaking amazing and gives me all four of the different houses so I can show you guys. 
So of course we got to start off with Gryffindor because I am a Gryffindor. This is what we see. It says cauldron crate, house drinking straws. Let's take a look. First off, she did include a little straw cleaner thing, which I always appreciate. But these are the two straws for Gryffindor. We have a gold one, which says bravery right here. Not really sure if you're picking that up. And then we have a red maroonish, maroonish color right here that says Gryffindor. So that was the Gryffindor house themed item, a nice usable item, which I always love. That is one good thing about Leanne. A lot of my ideas are always like replicas and stuff. And she is so good at like making sure these boxes include usable items. Because if it was up to me, it would probably be just stuff like all going directly on your bookshelf, which is not for everyone. A lot of people really do like usable items. I like usable items. It's just a lot of my ideas tend to focus on replicas or stuff like like that so yeah we love usable items but let me show you guys the other houses let's start with Hufflepuff which is definitely my second house oh oh, oh forgot to show you this same thing on the front again we have another cleaner and then we have a gold one that says Hufflepuff right here again I'm sorry if you can't really see that and then kind of a greenish black one that says loyalty I love that. So that was Hufflepuff. Let's move on to Slytherin. This is the front of it. Another cleaner. And then we have a silver one that says Ambition. I'm really sorry if you guys cannot read these. It's kind of hard. And then we have a green one that says Slytherin. This is actually really perfect for my house because I am Gryffindor. My daughter is Slytherin. My son is Hufflepuff and my husband is Ravenclaw. So now we each have our own set of straws and the children won't fight over them. I mean, they probably will because that's what they love to do, fight with each other, but maybe not. Fingers crossed. So... Oh, I forgot to show you the thing. This is the front of the Ravenclaw. Again, another straw cleaner. Boom. So we have a really pretty blue one. I think this is like my favorite color. That says Ravenclaw. And then we have like a silver rose gold color that says Wisdom. Ugh. Wow. I have to say, I know it's just straws, but I'm so freaking excited because we use straws on the daily daily <laughs> i have to say the blue ravenclaw and the green slytherin and the red gryffindor are my favorite like those colors are just phenomenal we love some colors <laughs> okay so i want to show you guys real quick the packaging look how cool and authentic from the wizarding world this looks like that really does just add a little something to these boxes. So let's go for this item next. Let's unwrap it. Oh, it looks like we have our cursed playing cards that we have to remove the curse from to actually become a curse breaker for Gringotts. Okay, I'm kind of scared to open them. What's gonna happen? Just tell my kids I love them. It's all for the gram. It's all for the gram. Okay, first off, just look at the box that these playing cards came in. We have all four house founders. It says Magical Legends. Legends. And this is the back. Oh, the top. Magical Legends. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but look like right here. It kind of looks like there's like blood splatters on the box. Leanne's attention to detail never fails to amaze me. Okay, now this is cool. Not only, again, does the back of each one have like this kind of blood spattered look. Like, can you tell? Can you tell? These definitely are giving me cursed vibes, which I don't appreciate. Good vibes only here, but I love this. <laughs> and it looks like every single card on here has a different design, whether it be Ravenclaw kind of design. That shows some famous people from Ravenclaw, like the Grey Lady and Rowena Ravenclaw herself. And then we move on to Gryffindor with some Gryffindor designs. And again, some famous Gryffindors. We have Nearly Headless Nick, Albus Dumbledore, Godric Gryffindor. Moving on to Slytherin. Let's see who we got. 
dun 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 Slytherin, the Bloody Baron. Look at that. And then Merlin, who I did not know was a Slytherin. Salazar Slytherin. And then good old Hufflepuff with a little heart and the badger. So cute yet cursed. <laughs> and of course we have the Fat Friar. Newt Scamander, we love him. Helga Hufflepuff. And, oh, who do you think the two Joker cards are of? We have Peeves. Like, no other character is more perfect for the Joker cards. Ugh, Peeve, you little prankster. <gasps> okay, guys, we gotta figure out how to remove the curse off of these playing cards so I can become a curse breaker because I need another job as a side hustle and that seems like fun. So I'm gonna have to pull a Hermione, go to the library and do some research. <laughs> when in doubt, go to the library. Okay, needless to say, I absolutely love these. I am 1000% taking these with me to Orlando when I'm meeting up with Allie and Leanda. We're gonna have so much fun with these. Drinking games will ensue. And next, let's go for our white box. I do believe this is our mug and it is. So if you guys haven't been watching my Cauldron Crate unboxings, Cauldron Crate is doing a series of items for the Horror Crux series. They're doing a cup in every chest, but I do believe this is one of the premium items. So you're only getting these in your chest if you're getting the premium boxes. But let's take a gander. So this is the design of the cup. We have, um, oh my God, how am I blanking on her name? Heb, 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 I cannot pronounce her. Like I see it in my brain. Help Thema help. This is the lady that had the Hufflepuff cup and the Slytherin locket in her collection that she showed to Tom Riddle. He ended up murdering her for those items. She was one of the deaths that he used to create the Horcrux. We do not know if it was the locket or the Hufflepuff cup. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm wrong. It probably says like online, but I don't think in the books it ever like really mentioned which one her death was used for. But yeah, this is Humphrey Pam Smith. And then moving on, the next image is the Hufflepuff cup in Bellatrix Lestrange. I cannot talk. In Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. <laughs> and it says the Hufflepuff cup 1998. And the last image, of course, is Hermione destroying the Hufflepuff cup in the Chamber of Secrets. And then we have black on the inside. So yes, another cup for my Horcrux collection. I'm so excited. Again, another nice, usable, magical item. Next, let's go ahead and show you the wine charm. This is another item that is being included in every single one of these chests. And this is the wine charm for the Hufflepuff chest. As you can see, we have the Hufflepuff cup and a basilisk fang, which was what was used to destroy the Hufflepuff cup. And then some cute little like gems and stuff on the side. Like I have said in previous unboxings for Cauldron Crate, I am not a wine drinker. I finally did buy a few wine glasses and used it for just other drinks that I was able to like put my wine charms on. But if you missed in one of my previous unboxings, I showed you a little box case that Leanne has created for us to store our wine charms in. I will try to put a picture of it here for you guys. I don't know if it's still for sale on her shop. Um, if it is, I'll put it on the screen as well. But that is where my wine charms live currently, and I absolutely love it. I really, really hope she is able to continue the Horcrux series because I have to finish my wine charm collection for my little display case. Like, I have to have them all in there. <laughs> So yes, that was the wine charm. Okay, so the next item in the box is kind of a very deep book reference that I suggested to Leanne forever ago. And I actually didn't think she was going to use this idea for the chest, but she did and I'm so excited. Again, it's a very deep book reference. But what we have right here is evidence, guys. Evidence. This is case number, da, da 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 date, description, 200 milliliter gray tin filled with what appears to be brown powder or cocoa. 
location, Ministry Evidence Locker, recovered by Brian Boggins. So I really don't wanna take it out of the plastic. For one, it looks like it spilled a little, but for two, I wanna display it on my shelf like this as evidence. But like, as you can see, it has a label here that says Coco, but on the back, it says recipe for mistress, mix four heaps teaspoon into a cup of hot milk. Do not forget the sugar. So this is how Tom Riddle blamed Hokey, the house elf, for his mistress's death. He was the one that took the blame for the death of Miss Huffleupagan Smith. So, <laughs> and I know it's such a deep reference, but poor Hokey, like I, is it Hokey? Oh my God, I'm like failing on names. I'm like a thousand percent sure it's Hokey. I don't know why I'm saying Hokey. I think it's that. I am just blanking. But her house elf is the one who like took the blame for her death. They think since he was older that he accidentally poisoned her. He didn't mean to. And this was the evidence recovered because it was poisoned. Da, 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 da. So yeah, guys, again, such a deep book reference. But again, this is another item that is not only usable because there's actually cocoa powder. Like you can make hot chocolate with this, but you can also display it on your bookshelf as evidence from the Ministry of Magic. But I thought that was such a cool book reference. And I mean, you can never go wrong with hot chocolate, cocoa powder. Like we all love some hot chocolate. At least I do. And the next item in the box is our potion. And this is the potion, guys. We have dragon blood, 100% pure. Look at that label. But of course, my favorite part is the chains wrapped around. I thought that would be such a cool idea. Kind of like how the dragon in Gringotts was chained to the wall and everything. So I thought that would be such a cool way to decorate the bottle. And Leanne, just as usual, killed it with the design. And look at the liquid on the inside. Doesn't it kind of look like blood? You can tell it's definitely like a thicker kind of liquid and it's red, perfectly creepy. And then not only that, on top we have a dragon head with some wax kind of melting down. Yes, 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 yes. I absolutely love how this turned out. I mean, she did phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of my favorite items in this chest. Mwah, mwah, chef's kiss, y'all. And the next item in the chest is our pen. This is the vault pen, as you can tell. So right here, we see the door to none other than Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. And when you open it, oh yes, you can open this. It is an interactive pen. And this is what you see when you open it. We have all of the gold in her vault. You can even see right here, the Sword of Gryffindor. And it looks like she added a bunch of like Hufflepuff cups in the design. Look at that reflection. How pretty. And I honestly think this is like a metal material. Definitely feels like very good quality. I, again, I just love how this turned out. Another one of my favorite items in this box. All of the details, the design, the quality, perfection, perfection. And next, it looks like we got some stickers. We have Hermione's Otter Patronus. How cute is he? And I love how the sticker has like that holographic effect. So freaking pretty. And then we have the Hufflepuff cup being destroyed by the Basilisk Fang. Yes. And then we have this sticker right here. I'm assuming this is Bellatrix Lestrange's like numbers for when she was in Azkaban. Ooh. And next we have the same artwork that was on our Hufflepuff cup. She includes this in every single box. So even if you don't get the premium chest with the cup, you still have the same artwork that we saw before. I love to use these as bookmarks, but you could totally just use this and display it like on your bookshelf or something. And next we have this right here wrapped in this pretty purple twine. So we have two envelopes. Let's start with this one. Look at this. Like, this is so cute. So this says, Dearest Tom, Borgen and Burks, and then the address, Nocturne Alley, London. I mean, and then we have a pretty wax seal right here. And this is a letter from Hebzim, some, 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 Smith 
to Tom, but as you can see on here, it has green writing on it. Just like we had in our previous chest, this is notes from Dumbledore when he was doing his research on the Horcruxes. So it has notes all throughout from Dumbledore. So I'm not gonna read it all. I will try to take a picture of this for sure and put it in here for you guys because yeah, you have to read his notes two days before her death, the locket and question mark. So yes, so that was her letter to Tom. I do believe this is his response back. Look at this wax seal from Borgen and Burks. I mean, I mean. And it says, Miss Hebs 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 Hebs, the old bond, sorry. But again, this is from Tom, Tom Riddle, back to her. I've been meaning to come by and examine the fine goblin made armor. So like he went to go get something else. And then this is when she ended up showing him those two items. So yes, 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 yes. Again, I will try to put a video in of these two for sure, just so you guys can read these letters because it's so cool because we know this happened. So to see it kind of come to life is just so cool. And again, the fact that it has notes from Dumbledore on his research for finding the Horcruxes, I mean, that takes the cake. It takes the cake because you know Dumbledore did his research. He did the research. So we have two, kind of three items left and I wanted to save them for last because they're the real big items of this chest. But the first one that I'm gonna show you is in this purple drawstring bag. Oh, guys, I don't think a video is going to do this justice. We have a cursed opal necklace bracelet. Like this is a bracelet, guys, that is designed just like the cursed opal necklace. And I know a lot of you guys out there like me who are collectors wish we could get our hands on this necklace. Like this is like the white whale of collecting for a lot of us because they discontinued the opal necklace and I want it in my collection so bad, <laughs> so bad. But the fact that Leanne created it as a usable item that we could actually wear, like it's a bracelet guys, we can wear this. And just like how gorgeous and authentic looking it is, <sighs> guys. Guys, I can't, I can't. When she showed me the final picture of this, like <sighs> I knew this has been coming and guys, love, 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 love. But if you don't want to wear it or for when you're not wearing it, Leanne included something for us to display this bracelet on. We have our own little stand to display the cursed bracelet on. Let me put it on. Let me pop it on here, guys. I mean, I mean, how? I, <laughs> I, liter I literally have no words for how much I love this. Like, this is just so freaking cool. Oh, again, hands down, one of my favorite items. I know I've said that a lot, but one of my favorite items in this chest. I cannot wait to put this on my like Borgen and Berg's dark art section because this is cursed. It's killed 13 muggles. <sighs> and we are finally to the last item. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I actually have an item from Leanne for this item. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. And we have styrofoam guys, which you know, you know my saying on styrofoam. Styrofoam equals greatness. Mm. Okay, so we could not do a Hufflepuff cup chest without doing a Hufflepuff cup. But I will say Leanne took a huge leap of faith kind of doing my idea for the Hufflepuff cup because you either love it or you hate it. But my the but the reasoning for my idea was a lot of people who are Harry Potter collectors already have the Hufflepuff cup. Like I, like me, I do already have the Hufflepuff cup in my collection. So I thought we could do a version of the destroyed Hufflepuff cup. This is after Hermione destroyed it in the Chamber of Secrets. As you can see, it has a massive hole right through the middle where the Basilisk Fang went. And I just, 
love this. And as you can see, like the detail on this is definitely not destroyed. Look at how phenomenal she did with the detailing and even like how it was destroyed. You can see this is where it went in and this is where it came out because this part's sticking out. Even the detailing on the stem down here, like it's just so good, but it's destroyed. I will say I really did kind of want it to be a little more destroyed looking like with like the black kind of oozing out, but that didn't work out so <laughs> that was a bit too much that was a little too much so like this is just it's so cool to have the destroyed version in the collection but like i said i do have something to go along with this that leanne created as another way to have it displayed so let me open this bad boy up oh. <laughs> so this is what leanne has made for your Hufflepuff cup. It is a chest with a glass window and a silk like felt lining on the inside. But did you notice the HH, which stands for Helga Hufflepuff? Because as Miss Hushamsham Smith said, she is a descendant of Helga Hufflepuff. This has been passed down in her family for generations. This is the case that she had used to display her Hufflepuff cup. Let's throw our destroyed version in and see how it looks. Oh my God, it looks so good. And this is how it looks in the case. I love how she made like a styrofoam cutout underneath the green silk thing so it fits perfectly in there. I mean, I mean, like I said at the beginning, I do believe she's going to have this for sale in her shop on her website, cauldroncrate.com, like you guys. Even if you don't want to put the destroyed version, you can put the real one in there. I'm, I do believe it'll fit. So, hmm, the perfect way to end this video. I... I love this so much. Leanne did show me different versions of like different color silk fabric, but I love how the green turned out. Like, mm, mm. guys, guys. But guys, that was everything from Cauldron Crate. Holy rabies. I know I am very biased with this box. Some of these were my ideas and just seeing them come to life is just phenomenal like it is just so cool seeing all of these items in person and i just thought this was such a phenomenal chest favorite items i, I everything i can't say i really did love everything <laughs> Again, I know I'm biased, but this was such a good box. Like the dragon blood, the cursed opal bracelet, the pin. Like there were just so many amazing items in this box. And I had so much fun working with Leanne, coming up with some of these items, seeing her like prototype through them and everything. Like it's so much fun. So Leanne, thank you so much as always for letting me be a part of this. I love working with you so much. And girl, take all of the time you need. I more than anybody know Know that sometimes you need a break you need it not only for mental health but for other things like this is our real life so take all the time you need but please 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 just please come back we want you to come back we want to see this series ended for sure um but as always i would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of harry potter lovers and bookworms and i will see y'all next time bye guys <laughs> <sighs> Let the dust settle. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hmm. That might be a <laughs> that might be a wee bit too close. Mm -hmm. Better. Better. <sighs> Y'all, look at how broke this piece of crap is. I got it from, what the crap is the name of that place? I don't, I don't even know. It's stupid, don't buy from them, okay. What is up guys, Tabby here. 
or also known as, what is up guys, Tabby here, also known as, Kit Kat, no, don't get on the box. I'm gonna need you to stay. Curtain, you're my light. Work with me. I need a book or something. Ooh. <laughs> Use my kid's iPad. I don't know if that's any better or not. The Hufflepuff, the Hufflepuff. Ooh, lighting. Son, go away. Shoot, shoot. Oh, I'm trying to pound. Open. So, oh, that does not say Slytherin. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, ambition. Tabitha, read the straw. Okay, I want to show you real quick. I'm trying to show them tissue paper. Rude. Good old bubble wrap for Kit Kat to destroy later. The last M. L. <laughs> Hermione destroying the Hufflepuff cup in the where? Where? Here. Why are you so loud? Cup for our horror clux clux clux. I cannot talk. Sorry, I had to delete more stuff for space. <laughs> so even if you so so eat so, so eat in continued good health and spirits. Oh. So I told the sun to leave and it like, it really left. Come back, sun. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you. You can come back now. We need more light. Come on, kids iPad, do your job. Okay. Uh, damn it. Uh, knife. Where'd my knife go? Oh. You're so far away. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I can't get an old. Oh, bloody hell. Ow. I'm too old for this. I'm too old to sit on the floor. Oh, and it's covered in it. <laughs> Jeez. Leanne was determined that this arrives safely. Good Lord, who needs to go to the gym? Nobody. Whew, five years later. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to show you guys, look at how Kit Kat has destroyed this box on the other side. She went to town scratching on it. 